Good evening. My name is Mark Fraser. I live at 14627 Southwest 155th Avenue, Brooker, Florida, two miles from ground zero. The proposed strip mining of thousands of acres in Bradford and Union counties could have a devastating effect on our way of life. Phosphate strip mining has been linked to many dangerous pollutants, including radon, the second leading cause of lung cancer in the United States. Last year, phosphate mining in Mulberry, Florida caused a massive sinkhole and the release of hundreds of millions of gallons of contaminated water into the Florida aquifer. Phosphate mining in White Springs has turned this once thriving community into the dying little town we see today. Is it worth destroying our community and quality of life for 150 temporary jobs that will mostly be filled by experienced mine workers from other counties who were laid off because mining operations closed down? Our local wells could dry up or become polluted, decimating the property values of thousands of residents and rendering our homes virtually unlivable. Local agriculture and ranching operations that depend on the availability of clean water could be seriously compromised. Finally, the strip mining operation would disrupt thousands of acres of watershed for the Santa Fe and New Rivers. This could have a devastating effect on tourism, recreation, fishing, which combined with agriculture provide a much greater financial benefit and many more permanent jobs than phosphate mining. Strip mining operations involve the deafening roar of heavy machinery used to mine and process the earth, often around the clock. It can also create massive amounts of dust, which can be especially devastating to the health of children and elderly with asthma and other respiratory conditions. Brooker Elementary School is less than a mile from the border of the proposed mining site. We are overly reliant upon the use of fertilizers containing nitrates and phosphates. Fertilizer runoff is largely responsible for toxic algae blooms like those that afflicted Lake Okeechobee, the St. Lucie River, and the Indian River Lagoon last year. These toxic algae blooms resulted in, in massive fish kills with local fishermen suffering from congestion, skin rashes, blistering, diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting. Scientific studies have demonstrated that sustainable farming methods can greatly reduce the need for phosphate-containing fertilizers without sacrificing yield. For this and other reasons, sustainable farming also significantly reduces fertilizer runoff. Finally, recycling uh, from wastewater could help preserve our environment while helping, helping to meet our remaining need for phosphate without the destructive effects of strip mining. So, as duly elected commissioners, you have to decide who you represent. Four wealthy families who may be willing to risk the future viability of our community for short-term profits, or the thousands of Bradford County citizens who after a hard day's work just want to go home to their families in a quiet, peaceful home with clean water and clean air. Thank you very much.